Are you looking to go ahead and turn your voicemail off on your iPhone? Maybe disable it so you stop getting all these random voicemails. Well, that's what I've come to recently. I've got a lot of spam calls all of a sudden, and I started putting them on silent so only the contacts in my phone would ring. But now they're taking it to the next level and leaving voicemails like crazy. So because they're leaving so many voicemails, it just keeps happening. And I wanted to go through and show you how you can go ahead and turn off voicemail on your phone. There's more than one way, and I think the different ways have different benefits. So I would definitely stay tuned for the whole video to make sure you find the one that is best for you. Because trust me, I definitely know how frustrating this can be with your voicemail popping up all the time. So let's go through and show you some ways of going through and turning it off. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin from HelpfulTutorials.net. If you're new and you like iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials, do me a favor, smack that subscribe button. Definitely would appreciate it. And with that said, let's go ahead and dive right in and get to the heart of this issue. So here you can see my voicemail and there's actually a lot more that were here, but I've deleted a lot. For a while I've been getting nine to 12 second voicemails like crazy. And it's just been really getting to me and I just couldn't take it anymore. So I wanted to go through and turn off my voicemail. Now there's more ways of doing this than one. So we're gonna kind of go through them. There is the way of permanently removing your voicemail. So no one can leave voicemails. There is no voicemail. And then it just goes to the busy signal after it gets done ringing. I will go through that. And then there is a kind of a hack to make it so people can't leave voicemail on your voicemail. And this goes without deleting your voicemail. So if you want to save your voicemail and the reason you'd want to keep your voicemail and not delete it is a few reasons. One, you have any voicemails that you had from a while ago, you have them saved. Two, your voicemail message in the beginning is set up. And three, the most important, sometimes when you delete these, you can't get them back so easily. There are problems where companies just can't add your voicemail back. They try and they try and it just doesn't work. So disabling it, yes, you should be able to go ahead and add it right back when you're done. But that's why I like doing my other trick. But first, let's go ahead and talk about disabling it for good. To do that, you'd want to click on the phone icon and then choose the keyboard icon. And then you would put in a MMI code, which stands for Man Machine Interface Code. So in here, what you would type is pound, pound, zero, zero, four, and then pound. And after that, you want to hit dial if it doesn't automatically do it. Now, I'm not going to put the last pound in because I don't want to disable my own voicemail, but this would go through and disable your voicemail. And after it's disabled, then you are all set and you don't have to worry about that until you wanted to go ahead and get it back on. If you didn't want to do it through this, you can also go ahead and contact your provider. If you need to call them, these are the numbers. This is T-Mobile. This is Verizon. This is AT&T. This is Sprint. So those are the numbers if you need to contact support. Getting back to the hack portion of the way of stopping voicemails coming in, and it's the way that I've decided to go ahead and do this. So with all these messages coming in, it kept driving me crazy. You know, I would delete the voicemail, get rid of it right away, and we would be good. Well, I thought about deleting the voicemail, and I was like, you know, I do have some voicemails I want to keep, you know, from a while ago. I don't want to get rid of them. So how can I go ahead and stop people? Well, the best way that I found is to not delete these voice messages we're getting. What you want to do is let the voicemails come in and what they're doing is filling up your voicemail box. So eventually you will have so many of these messages coming in that there will be no more room for anyone else to leave a message. That keeps your voicemail intact and at any time you can go ahead and delete the messages which will reactivate your voicemail. Now remember when you delete them, it does go in a deleted area and then you have to go in the deleted area and empty the trash basically to go ahead and get them completely removed from your voicemail. So for now, I'm just letting them add up 
And since I've decided this, oddly enough, the voicemails have slowed down a lot. So it's kind of funny that it all of a sudden slowed down right as I was trying to do this. But I think it's a great idea on how to stop the voicemails from coming in. I do have videos on how to fix voicemail problems. So if you do this and you are having some problems and you change your mind and you want to get it back, I'll list them at the end here of the video. That way we have everything in one area. I really hope this fixed it for you. And if you are getting a lot of voicemails, may I ask how many random voicemails you're getting a day? Just comment it down below. And thank you so much for the view.